as we expected is starting the game at running back Atkinson had great trouble in hanging on to passes high snap and Carlisle saves it but he's going to take a loss it was off the of Tommy from the gun firing for the first down Daniels has got it breaks free and he is now Notre Dame rushes three and they drop eight and the linebacker right here starts to come up and creates a nice void right behind that and that's a well thrown football what I liked is Daniels worked himself back to the football to take any chance of a defender getting his hands on the ball big void behind the linebacker he's doing a great job of using his hands and getting off blocks what a physical presence he is inside second down and nine and nothing doing again I am under Joe Tiller just keep your head up and he sort of picked up his spirits a lot to hear from Drew Brees at that moment incomplete for the Aston. the other freshman running back has checked in and here's Daniels getting greeted with four or bringing a fifth there's Carlisle into the backfield alongside Reese and he'll take the handoff and they'll try to sweep left Fires incomplete. Purdue takes. Over to the right is McDaniel. Got a couple of blocks and he's across. Second down. McDaniel's helmet comes off. Play for Notre Dame. The 40 yard pass completion to Chris Brown. The big play. Plenty of time. Fade to the corner. Is it picked off? Incomplete. Oh, it? Play fake. Strike out to the left. The east. Atkinson. They pitch it to him rather than throw it to him downfield trying to take advantage of it. Atkinson flashes for the first down. down. Second down and ten. Atkinson again and he for that 47 yard kickoff return by George Atkinson. Forced out of the pocket on the move going to fire for the sub right now. This is where a defensive coordinator wants a team. Out of the pocket on the move. And. Quick strike on that screen to Daniels. First down. Looking young wide receiver played last year as a freshman. This time Jones picks up the block to help spring him loose. They shovel it to him. Second down and 12 and Carlisle tripping. Maybe get out of that blitz to affect Tommy Reese's adjustment. Line holds, fires. And Coming from over in this area, so he slid the offensive line as a group to his left. By sliding him to his left, look at the pocket that they're able to form. And he's in Offense, it's hurry up and wait. Better hurry. High end zone, incomplete. Pressure, fires, right side, grab it, it is Daniels. Stepping in and making the throw and look at this Brent. Look how strong the hands are there. The ball didn't come close. Tommy Reese recognized linebacker pressure. So he keeps his tight end and his back end. And then he gets one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. Really good recognition. Slides to protection. Everybody's protected. And then he gets the, the matchup that he's been looking for. Daniels matched up one-on-one. -on -one, and we showed this a little bit earlier. Reese puts the ball right in position for Daniels to high point it and use his hands to pull it away. 18-yard line. Going deep down the right sideline, got a man open, Daniels still going in the clear, not marked out of bounds. Bounds, but it, it didn't look like it. Man-to-man -man coverage on the outside, what a throw by Reese. Have to take a peek probably from behind to see whether or not he stepped. 
Well, then you step. This would be a perfect look right here. That's the key right there. Was yep. that left heel? Yep. And it looked to and me. That one too. Looks like he stayed like in. It stayed in bounds. At least you don't see anything there to indicate that he was clearly out of bounds. What an effort there by Daniels. That is a heck of a run down that line for 82 yards. And if it holds up, that's Notre Dame's third and six for Tommy Reese and the Irish, and he throws for the.